Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are doing a cash stuffing video. So as you may know, these are one of my favorite videos to make and I know that you guys love them as well. So it's like a win-win, you know, it's one of my favorite parts of the week. So today we are stuffing $500 that will go into our fixed expenses, like our bills. It will go into our variable expenses, which is like our weekly spending and our sinking funds to cover all of those needs that pop up throughout the year, but aren't like a weekly need. So that is what these three binders are for. And let's go ahead and start and count the money. Make sure we have $500, which is what I expect this to be. And then we will move on to stuffing those envelopes. 50, 100, 50, 2, 4, 6, 8. That's not how this goes. Okay, let me set aside this 50 because you know these always, it confuses me. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So that's 300. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's 400. Let's see. And then we have 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 94, 98, 100. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 500 dollars. So we are off to a great start. We have the money that we expected we had. So let's set this aside and get it ready. How are you guys doing this week? I hope that you are all doing wonderfully. I hope that you're feeling well and nobody's sick or nobody's car is broken down. I was watching a couple of videos from other budget YouTubers this week and it seems like everybody's having car trouble, which honestly is the story of my life. I completely relate and I understand and I am sorry. I know how that can kind of like ruin a week right there is when you're having car issues because those things are usually expensive to fix. So I hope none of you are having car troubles this week or any major issues in your life. If you have been following my channel, you know that I just survived the hurricane. Hurricane Ida just went through my area and I live right on the water on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. But I'm happy to tell you guys that thankfully for my direct little town or area, at least, there was no major damage. We did have curfew for a couple of days while we, like, while the water went down and while they checked the roads and obviously, like, during the hurricane. So it did sort of change the week a little bit for me, but it was not a bad one. My kids were out of school. You know, it just changed the routine, but thankfully, all is well around here. So our money is laid out. Let's go ahead and get rid of our change. This is the change that is left over from last week. Looks like an, a little coin has made its way in. <laughs> but we're going to put this to the side. Okay, so let's get into it. I will start with my fixed expenses, which is my bills like rent and preschool. I'm using in this binder my... Harry Potter stickers and tracker set. It's on Etsy if you're interested. But I feel like your bills binder should be fun because it's, you know, it's all money that's going towards bills. So keep your binder fun, you know? So mine is Harry Potter because it makes me really happy. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 50, 200. So 200 is going towards rent. I like to stuff money into my bills every single month, every single week, excuse me. I try to keep it the same amount. That way, when the first comes around, all of my bills are completely covered. It's not like, you know, I don't keep up with what bills do when. I just pay it all on the first. Preschool, they get $400 a month. So I will pay $50 this week towards preschool for my youngest. My youngest just had his birthday. Wednesday of last week and he um, he had a blast we put I sent them cupcakes he to school and he felt really loved whenever they sang to him they sent me a little video it was super duper cute I guess is why I'm thinking about preschool anyway um, and so then let's see oh electric so that's the only bill I haven't paid yet for this past month so I'm not going to put any money into that because I need to pay this today I am filming on the morning of the first this will get paid Next week, we will worry about putting some money towards electric. Gymnastics. My boys are in gymnastics. Okay, guys, these zippers, I never know which way I'm going. I just, you know, just watch me play with the zippers for a while. Um, gymnastics is going to get $20. 
internet is going to get 20. I pay $70 a month for my internet, which I don't think is bad. I have that like AT&T fiber and it's only 70. I've heard of people's prices being so much more and my internet is extremely fast and amazing. So I think I just, there's a good deal in my area. I don't know. Let me know. How much do you guys pay for internet? Because I'm kind of curious. I've heard different prices from different people. I wonder if it's an area thing or if it's like providers charge different. Anyway, mine is AT&T and it's fiber and it's exactly $70 and 70 cents is how much I pay every month. Water is typically $50 a month. So I will put $10 towards water. And that is all we are stuffing this binder for today. I'm excited. I just added this tax binder. And the reason I needed to add that is because of Etsy. I expect that I need to start saving taxes because of money I'm making on there. And so that's exciting to me just for the fact that I'm making sales on Etsy, guys. I'm so excited and happy that that shop is being supported in the way that it is. And I appreciate and I love you guys for that because I don't think I would be doing as well over there if it wasn't for the love and support I'm getting from you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you and I love you guys so much. Um, I really do love the budgeting community on YouTube. That's not, I think I say it a lot and it's not just something I say, but I really do feel like the budgeting community on YouTube is on point. You guys are amazing. We are, I think, do a good job at supporting one another and supporting one another's videos. And I don't think all the YouTube communities are like that. I think that we have a really unique little community and we are all, um, I feel like you guys are my friends, you know? So anyway, okay. variable expenses. Uh, we are stuffing a little bit less towards variable expenses this week, because like I said, we did spend like half of this week on lockdown, not lockdown. That's a COVID term. <laughs> we, we were under curfew, which means we could not go out during the storm and after the storm while the water receded and such, you know, so I just need a little bit less money, which means we have more to put towards our sinking funds. So for groceries, we are only putting $20 towards groceries. And I did a really large, like monthly grocery haul pretty recently. I don't think I'm going to keep doing that. I think I'm going to go back to weekly grocery hauls because I feel like I'm super thrown off on exactly what to do. So backstory, I was doing $100 a week per, for groceries. Then I tried to switch to $300 per month and just buy a little bit here and there. I don't like it. I'm going back to weekly, $100 weekly. It's easy to keep up with that. Fast food, I'm going to put $10 towards fast food. I don't think that we will really have an opportunity or a need for fast food again this week. So I don't even think we're going to spend that. Fun. We do not get fun money this week. Sorry, kids. We poor. Gas. I don't know why there's a $1 in here. I don't think that's... I'm going to take that aside and put that in the bank. Gas, we are going to get $20. Just to kind of top us off. My tank is pretty full because if you live in a hurricane-prone area... You know, as soon as they announce a storm, the first thing you do is you go fill up your your car with gas because that's what everybody does. So there's not going to be gas, you know, by the time you need it closer to the storm or right after the storm. So my car is completely full of gas. This is just to top us off on Friday or Saturday. Just, you know, just because really. But we have a full tank of gas. We shouldn't really need that. Self-care, I get nothing this week. I just went on a rant last week about how I was going to spend more money on myself for self-care, but I take it back. It's not going to happen. <laughs> um, and so my kids, I'm not stuffing their envelopes. I do want to say, though, my sweet Atlas, it was just the cutest, so I want to share. But my mom, so he turned five, so he's still at an age where, like, this is cute. It's not, like, you know, um, pushy or weird yet. <laughs> But on his actual birthday, my mom got him a bike and she got him several like big presents. And she asked him at his birthday what he what he wanted. Or she said something along the lines like, what, what would you like for your birthday? Even though she had already had presents hidden for him. Um, she said some kind of remark to him and he said he wanted money. And she said, okay, well, how much money do you want? And he said, $100. <laughs> and so my mom took out her purse and she gave this kid a hundred dollars. And so he completely forgot about it. We put it in his binder and he forgot about it until I told him today. And he was so excited going to school today, like planning and plotting what he's going to spend his $100 birthday money on. So I just thought that was super cute. Um, and it was kind of like a little 
second gift. Cause you know, kids birthdays, they can get a lot and there's a lot going on. They kind of forget about stuff, but he was so excited. It's a week later at this point from his birthday. And it was like, it was his birthday all over. He's thinking about all the things he's going to do with his $100. Okay. Sinking funds. You guys know I am making a trip soon to visit the location where I will be moving in a year. And I am just going to go on a trip just to make sure I like the area, find exactly where I would like to live. So I know where to concentrate my job hunt and my apartment hunt, that kind of thing. So we are going to put $20 towards moving. And I created these trackers. I sell these on my Amazon, not Amazon girl, what are you talking about? I sell these on my Etsy shop. We should have $70 in here and we're going to add 20, two, four, six, eight, 90. So that is correct. So far, I think my money tends to line up, which is good. I always feel like it's not going to just because it's a math thing, but I mean like it's tangible items. They're not going to go anywhere. I don't know why I think it's going to disappear on me. <laughs> okay. Car maintenance. I am going to put $30 towards car maintenance. My, I have a very fickle car that likes to, you know, create drama. So we're going to add $30 to this just so we're ready the next time it decides to do what it does. Uh, we have 25 in here already. All right, so there was 25 in here. We're adding 30, so we should be at $55. Two, four, 55. I love watching these sinking funds just so slowly build. So there's some things that I'm putting a little bit more money into than others, but still like a little bit starts to add up. I think this haircuts fund, I feel like I've been putting $5 in it or so. And you know, it, it goes quickly. So we're going to add $5 to haircuts. Speaking of, so we should be at 19, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 dollars. For both of my boys to get haircuts, including the tax and tip and everything, it's $15 each, so $30 total. So we are almost at that goal. Business, so you guys know I just opened an Etsy shop. And so I am putting money into that. However, I feel like money that comes from the Etsy shop that I wanna to put towards Etsy is gonna come out of that Etsy money. Uh, business is I would like to create a planner line like a paper planner line. So I've been adding money to this specifically for that, not for Etsy. So we're going to add $15 to that. Let's see. So we are at, y'all know this money confuses me sometimes. 20, 40, 45, 50, 55. We're at $55 for business. And I do want to say, if you haven't checked on my Etsy, you might want to check again because prices have all rearranged. I did stay up really late last night looking and comparing prices because I want my prices to be some of as low as I can do it really, you know? So I was comparing prices to other places and lowering my prices. I did change my shipping to instead of free shipping as a whole. Now you get free shipping if you spend $35 or more. And I did that because I added new items to my shop. Uh, let me just go ahead and show you guys. So, you know, that you can buy the labels or the trackers, or you can buy them as a set. I recently added these cash envelopes that are laminated that I'm making completely. So they're customizable. I made a video yesterday, but I've taken it down at this point, just kind of announcing that I created these. I also have a clear binder that's for sale on there. I think I listed it for $3.99. Um, and so the reason I changed away from completely free shipping is because I feel like I was building in the shipping price into items which means if you were buying multiple items, you were really kind of overpaying for shipping. So I just changed it to a flat rate of $3 for shipping if you spend under $35. And then I changed it to $35 and more, you get free shipping. And that is just going to make my prices a little bit easier. I did figure out how to add more, um, what is the word, quantities. So before I was only listing them things in sets of like six or 12, I've completely broken prices down and you can buy things, you know, in smaller quantities. And with these in particular that I listed yesterday, you can buy just one of them if you wanted to, for example, um, you don't have to buy a large quantity, which is kind of how I had it listed before. Okay. 
So you not, guys know I'm good at my like random little rants. So sorry about that. It's just sort of what I do. <laughs> um, sick days. So sick days for me is not for medicine or anything like that. It is for extra fast food. It's for Legos for the kids whenever they are wanting to lay around and play, but don't have the energy to be super active. It's just for those random needs and things that come about when you're sick. And if your family is like my family, we, when we are sick, it really hits our budget because we just, it's kind of like, you don't care about anything when you're sick, you know? So this fund is specifically for when things just get out of whack because I'm sick or the kids are sick and we're all on the struggle bus, you know? So we're going to add $5 to sick days. So let's see what we're at. We are at 25. So $25, 26, 27, 28, $29. And sick days, I like to keep that fund at about $35. I feel like that covers a couple of fast food trips and a little toy or small Lego set or something for when we're sick. So that's just my personal, my personal goal and need. New phone, my phone works just fine, but it's very old. So I'm just starting a fund now so I can pay out of pocket when I need it. We're gonna add $4, one, two, three, four. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, $28. And at this point, I always just do my bill exchanges. Like, so that, for example, had a bunch of ones. I will do my bill exchanges off screen. If you guys would like to see me do bill exchanges on my channel, um, maybe once a month or once every couple weeks or so, let me know. It's just not something I've been doing because I don't know. It's just not something I've been doing. So glasses, we are going to add $20 to glasses. This is my glasses and contacts categories. And I really want contacts. I've been wearing glasses lately. My son and I both have glasses. So we're set there. This is savings for contacts for me. So we added 20. Let's see where we are at. Two, four, six, $70. So we are getting very close to the point where I'm just going to make that purchase and get my first few set of contacts, which is exciting. Y'all know I've been wanting some contacts. Clothes, we are going to do $4. One, two, three, four. Let's see. I just got my kids and myself. Why? <laughs> oh, ah, I can't open these zippers sometimes. I just got myself and my kids new clothes at the start of school. So we are set on that. This is just to get us ready for the next, you know, season change whenever we need to buy some pants and a few new things. Five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dollars. Family fun. We're not going to add to family fun today. Books for when I get my boys new books in December. I'm going to add $4. One, two, three, four. Let's see where we are at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have $8 towards new books for the boys. I like to buy them books in December for the 12 days of Christmas. So I'm just going to start working on that now. And car insurance. Car insurance is going to get $20. Why? What did I miss? No. Okay. I'll have to go back off screen and see where this 20 went that I did not put it because what the heck? I don't know. I'll figure that out. Car insurance is going to get $20. So we have $40 in car insurance. And whenever we're off screen, I do go back and write on the trackers anyway. So when I go back and I add that up and I compare my budget for today, I will figure out where this 20 belongs. Look, y'all, I was just saying that I usually don't like lose my money and get all, you know, get all off track. And here we are. I think this is my first time doing that. All right. So the last $3 we are adding towards our car tag. My car tag in my state is only about $35 per year. So it's not a big expense. It's just something I, that is an expense. And to keep it on my radar, I want to keep that category. Now I really want to know where this goes. Okay, did I? I know I counted at the beginning, so my money was right. Anyway, okay, I'll leave it here so that I figure it out when I 
right on my trackers. All right, guys, as always, I really appreciate you guys. I thank you for being here with me today and for taking the time to, you know, to be on my budgeting journey. I appreciate you so much and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.